came back from an amazing trip to Harlem, New York City. And while I was there, I visited um, Red Rooster Restaurant. Down in the basement was the most amazing jazz club. So that night, there was a band, the New Orleans style jazz band, led by Delfeo Marsalis. And he played the trombone, and there were at least 16 musicians. So I took lots of photographs, saved them on my laptop, and today I'm going to start the masterpiece painting Delfeo Marsalis and his New Orleans style jazz band. So let me pull up some of those pictures and save lots of them. Here's a great one showing the band. So I have to find the right perspectives. Because there is Delfio. And then he, he plays the trombone. So we have people next to him playing the saxophone. Right? And then I have different perspectives. So I'm going to start with the background first. And then put in the musicians. I'm not quite sure yet if to put the audience here or just zoom in on the musicians. I think I'll just zoom in on the musicians. There's Alfaro. So he would be like the focal point of the painting. There's the man playing the bass. Behind these uh, trombonists is a, actually a pianist. I didn't get that too clear. And then there's one fellow on the drums. But I took a lot of pictures so I could capture all of them. There's the drummer. Yeah, he was one of the stars of the program. And this saxophonist was really good. I like how they're wearing different suits as well, so I'll make sure I put the colors in. So I'll paint, you know, a muted brown background and then add layers to it. I'll put the drummer, the bass, and the pianist first, and then layer it with the, um, the brass instruments after. So the drummer's here, the big bass and the piano is behind that. Then in front of them, I will put the brass instruments. So, I got started doing the, the background and I was trying to figure out what colors to use in the background. So I used this kind of peach color and blended it with dark brown with art is messy business but that's okay and then I have tones of red here just a bright red mixed in with brown to give the stage floor and an area for the instruments and then I saw in the, um, the photograph there was this light behind the musicians with a lattice so I painted that area of peach so that I could put in the lattice when I'm layering you know, the, the musicians and all that. So I might just do the lattice, the floor, then put in the drummer, the bass, the piano. Then on top of that, I'll put the brass instruments. So here we go. I was working on the floor a bit, a bit of red and also a bit of dark brown for the floor. I'm just blending those colors together. This is a nice deep, let's see, I had a deep dark brown. Yeah, this one. This is good to blend with red because it's a really nice deep dark brown. So this blank canvas now, I'm going to build color onto it. So I'm mixing brown and red just to get the stage flow. It can't be too dark or else it won't show up well in the painting, but then I'm going to put 
musicians on top of this anyway. Now with these pictures, there's a spotlight shining on them. So eventually, you know, I'll make sure I put nice uh, light lights on their clothes. And they're all wear, wearing different color suits like they say always in gray, but with white accents and white uh, running shoes. And then these two have a kind of a green aquamarine, but a dark aquamarine green suit. Here's a gray suit. This one has gray almost black. This one's hidden behind the pole but I'm not going to put that pole in. And then we could see the heads of the audience but I think I'll just leave the audience out and just put the musicians. So I have to be careful. But this size canvas because it's not as wide as the photograph I have. So I may have to pack the musicians in a bit. If that isn't work well then I will make them smaller and put the audience but I really don't want to dilute the painting with the audience. What do you guys think? Yeah, if I put in the audience I would kind of take away from the fabulous musicians. And the audience that night was too responsive anyway, you know, they were just sitting there, typical tourists. I might have been the only one dancing to the fabulous music. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing some wild brush strokes there. It's going to be underneath that. The musicians, anyway. But I just want to fill in some gaps that might have been there before. And make sure they're filled up. So, I'm using some uh, very loose brush strokes. Then I'm going to build on top of it. While I am painting, I love to listen to jazz at home. It's my favorite. And nothing better than painting jazz musicians and listening to jazz. It's the greatest. You see? Now, if I put red on the floor and brown, that's better than painting a boring old brown floor, you know? You get the two tones. That makes it more. Interesting. A red floor. Actually, in this club, the ceiling lights were red. But I don't want to put too much ceiling. I want to fill up with the musicians and pack them in. I might have to put them sideways. They were actually um, looking at tablets. Instead of um, music scores, the paper, they were looking at tablets on stands. This is the first time I've ever seen that. <laughs> Modern times. Okay, a little more brown on the floor. I fill up the gap. I'm improvising as I go along. I use foil instead of the typical tablet because, you know, it's foil. Once I get tired, I I can really dispose of it. But I, I um, use it repeatedly until it's so packed with dry paint that I have to turn it out. So it lasts a long time. Rather than the, the uh, wooden palette. I like my piece of foil. I must be the only crazy artist using foil, but that's okay. My invention. There we go. And now I'm going to put in some of the lattice that I see in that photograph there, the background, and then I will put the drummer, the pianist, and the, the bass in the middle. He was barely visible because he was behind the um, trombone players. That's okay. 
because you're in prison and you're still putting trouble in place. 